I won the um, 2011 Top Environmental Award for Environmental Science and Technology, uh, recognizing my work with Dr. Ron Atlas in comparing the Exxon Valdez oil spill and the bioremediation of that with the bioremediation um, that we saw in the Deepwater Horizon oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico. The paper that, that Dr. Ron Atlas and I did for ESNT, the tale of two oil spills, actually shows how different bioremediation techniques um, were used with the Exxon Valdez and how they had to use um, a fertilizer and a lot of things like that and more aggressive treatments. There wasn't an uh, extant natural community that was able to degrade the oil like there is in the Gulf of Mexico. So the uh, Exxon Valdez spill and the Deepwater Horizon are actually um, contrasts more than um, comparisons. There's not much that's similar. The, it's a different type of oil. It was a different type of environment, a different type of climate. Deepwater Horizon, because we were able to get out there very quickly and use a lot of new molecular techniques, which were unavailable 20 years ago, um, we were able to characterize the community very quickly and show that there was a lot of naturally oil degrading bacteria, even down deep, even at four degrees C. So at refrigerator temperatures, these bugs were actually degrading the oil quite fast. That was completely in contrast to the Exxon Valdez where um, things were degrading um, much more slowly because the bugs hadn't become adapted to it. By bugs, of course, I mean bacteria. What we did in the Deepwater Horizon was to use what we call a systems biology approach. So we were measuring um, a variety of geochemical parameters and physical parameters, including pH and temperature and conductivity, iron concentration, hydrocarbon concentration, and all of these types of things. But we were also taking water samples and filtering them and then directly freezing them on board the ship and shipping them on dry ice back to our laboratory. So we looked at the lipids, the proteins, the DNA, the RNA. We sequenced these organisms um, and did what's called a metagenome, so the entire DNA of the entire microbial community. And then one of the first times ever that this was done, we did a um, actual single cell sequencing. So we now have the ability to take a single bacteria cell and then amplify that DNA and sequence it. The, the dominant organism down deep we found was an ocean Aspirilli strain that would degrade the oil. We could see that it actually had the ability to degrade C6 through C20 alkanes in the hydrocarbons, and we showed that it was chemotactic to oil. It was a little oil-seeking missile. So people don't, quite often don't understand that oil is a natural product. It is natural for us to see it biodegraded and to see organisms that have evolved to biodegrade oil. You know, I'm gratified that, that in fact, Ron and I were able to uh, win the best environmental paper for es &T. It shows, um, you know, how we can take oil spills that are even 20 years apart and do comparisons and, and learn both from past things that we've done and from new things that we've done. Don't neglect all of that old literature because some of it's very good and will allow you to compare to new things that you're doing. Mm -hmm.